today we will be discussing about rack topology in uh, Hadoop okay uh, for this I have a cluster setup of uh, actually one two three four five seven nodes uh, in that four worker nodes I have and one master node and one edge node where the gateways are placed and one CF node that is cloud at manage node where all of services is placed and just log into the cloud and manager with the default passwords what I am using right now This is a cluster setup I have and uh, these are the components which are installed and the versions of the components in the sense the version of the CDH is 5.10.2 okay. okay for configuring a uh, rack topology uh, before that the brief theory how the rack topology works see if you con if you consider we have a three a worker node okay and mm, if you want to put and we have we got two racks consider okay so if you want to put uh, if you want if you are trying to put a file in that so consider all three worker nodes uh, are placed in the same rack okay and name no and other uh, CM node edge node are placed in a uh, different rack okay so in that case if you put a file the file will be copy to all three worker nodes as the replication factor is 3 uh, and it became fault tolerant but if the rack fails in the sense that the rack first rack fails all three nodes will go down and there is no fault tolerance here so that's why we need to configure rack topology so the advantages of rack topology are prevents the data loss and improves the network performance so to configure it uh, we have two files in etc Hadoop just log into the master node so this is the master node I have I'll just clear the screen so I'll go to the default part that is etc Hadoop Here we will see the files and just scan the file. Dots. So if you see, uh, I have uh, uh, changed CM node to rack zero before, but all the worker nodes are present in the same rack okay so what we are going to do is we have to change that for this we have to configure one parameter called topology script file name on the core.xf file and we have to give the path of x so that we are going to do now then we will be changing the uh, racks of worker nodes okay. Okay. so I will go to the HDFS Parameter. 
here. So here we have to give the path of uh, that script. That is a Python script. What we have. Okay. Copy this. Okay, by doing this, the name node becomes rack aware. So it is asking for the restart. Please go ahead with the restart. So if you the configuration changes, what you made here, just restart the state. It's a state will take some time to restart. And if you want to read up the duplication, you can go ahead. Otherwise, you can uncheck this. So it will take some time. Okay. And then just show you the script also what it contains. That is catch this is a Python script. So this is a script which I've written in Python. If you are good in Python, you can read this. What it will do if you any changes in the configuration uh, that is uh, topology dot map. Okay, if if you change the uh, consider if you change the uh, worker node to rack zero one, this script will be executed. Uh, then it will change the uh, rack for that particular. Uh, work load. So that's what the script will do on the high level. Let's see this. Okay. So it's stopped all the services and it's just starting the services. It will take quite a amount of time. <clears throat> Starting the high services now. There are a number of uh, books in Safari. So if you want to get some information, so you can go ahead and uh, do it here. You can have a look. Uh, so very good books uh, on all the technologies. I would say that. Okay, it's the last one. That is you now. Now it is deploying the client configurations. It will be a faster. Let's click on OK. Done. And we'll hit on finish. Okay. 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 It is asking for the sub subsequent uh, sequent uh, um, state services to restart. We'll uh, do after that after configuring the rack okay we will go for all host okay so rack zero we, what we do we will put uh, worker node and worker node one and two in a rack zero and uh, worker three and four in rack one okay we we'll go for actions again rack and we can type it as slash rack zero confirm okay you can see that and uh, you can change this also 
boy. Let's bring it back. Actually, I have just added a worker node to this, and I have not defined any roles as of now. So I will be I will be ignoring this worker node now. So I will be uh, only configuring this to rack one. Okay. Now run run. Slash. This is the format we have to give. Slash rack uh, one. Okay. all of the users are I mean all the worker needs are considered the rack so if you do if you put any files now so uh, that uh, if you have a uh, three replication factor so the two files are placed in these two racks and one file will be placed in these two racks if this rack goes down we have one more files file here to do the processing or to do the any modifications or any read required so this is how we will configure the <coughs> rack topology or rack back network topology uh, in Cloudera. If you go Cloudera manager, so there are some restart services. Please restart this. Click on this. See, these are the changes what we made here. So that will be reflected in that file what you mentioned topology dot map file click on restart save services you can uncheck this it's not required so in the production system it's required but as it is a dev i am just unchecking that again the restart will uh, restart the cluster Go the description so it will see it will start from the basics basics and the distributed systems map reduce logging all the similar way we have number of clips but should have time to read all those things it's a bit of time consuming but uh, yeah, we can read that stops all the services and starting the now all the services now okay so it's that to the HDFS actually if you want to see the how the uh, rag topology or rag things will work go to the google.com okay oh today's calendar is Rack topology okay. So this is the one you can select any of them, so this looks really good. <coughs> See, this is the rack. We have three racks here rack one, rack two and rack 3 consider so it has separate switches by one and this will be again connected to the master switch okay and these are all interconnected so this rack contains one two three four five nodes all the nodes so maybe your data one one to five percent here six to seven percent here in, in the subsequent way so if we put a one file here so one will be uh, one file Consider 500 MB file. It broke down to 128 uh, MB of block size. So one file will be present here, another file will be present here. So as it is rack aware, name node is rack aware, it places one file in another rack so that it became fault tolerant. So that is the concept of uh, rack here. So I'll go to the Clojure Manager. Okay. I guess it's all finished. We can finish.
of the steel the steel services are there <clears throat> and uh, in the meantime I'll check here also so if you if you Okay, if you see that uh, topology now at topology, sorry, topology point map. See, if you see that, so as we uh, configure the worker node one is in zero and worker node two is in zero, that is rack zero and worker node 3 is rack 1 so this file will be automatically executed by cloud error manager so as you can see see this is automatically generated by cloud error manager okay this is how uh, we will configure the rack to rack awareness or rack topology on a cloud error systems okay thanks guys for watching yeah.